I just got some new cushion grip in. Let's try it out. Let's open it up. All right. So we have the instructions, which I don't need. We have our tube of cushion grip. And we have our key. My audio got deleted, so I have to do a voiceover. Anyways, so when you first get your cushion grip, it's going to come with this key. And I have a video that I've already posted on how to use the key. If you don't know how, you can find that. First thing you're going to need to do is soak the cushion grip in warm water for five minutes. You're going to make sure that it's nice and warm so it's easy to work with. Then you're going to make sure that your denture is as dry as possible. Top and bottom, make sure that there is no water left on it. Otherwise, the cushion grip is not going to stick the way that it is supposed to. You also want to make sure that your hands are as dry as possible. This has been an issue for me before. I still had a little bit of water on my hands and it did not want to stick to the denture. So make sure that your hands are dry. Now that our cushion grip is ready, it's nice and warm. We're going to go ahead and open it up and get ready for use. You're going to squeeze from the bottom until you start to see a nice little orange bubble pop, pop out just like that. And how much you're going to need just depends on you and your denture. You may have to experiment a little bit and see what works for you, what's better. So we're going to get about that much in our hands. And we are going to play with it kind of like putty to get it nice and warmed up and ready for use. Boop-a-boo. All right, now that we have our cushion grip nice and warm, I'm going to start making it into a little pizza, a little pizza pie. That makes it easier to distribute across the top denture. Now I'm going to take my top denture and I'm going to stick it to the very top and hold it with my finger while I press it down along the denture. And I'm not going to worry about going up on the sides just yet because I'm applying two layers of cushion grip in this video. So I am just going to get it down there first. Now we're going to do our second layer. I found that two layers holds it so much better for my particular dentures. If one layer works for you or if you just need to use more on one layer, that's fine. I, I just prefer doing two. Right now, same thing as before. I'm going to take it, spread it evenly across. Boom. That's what it should look like. You may have to trim it a little bit after it cures, but that's okay. We can always go back and do that. And I have a video on how to trim it too. So now we're going to do our bottoms and I do the bottoms a little bit different than the top. I'm going to get that nice bubble going. Boop. All right. Now for this one, we're going to play with it like putty again, and then we're going to work it out into a little worm, like a little gummy worm. And I try to make it a little bit thinner in the center because my denture is thinner in the center, um, right there. So we're going to take it and I'm going to hold it with my thumb in the middle or with my finger in the middle and then push it down the sides so it evenly distributes. And then I'll take my finger and kind of just work it up, up the sides and all around. Make sure it's got a good fit. And that's what it should look like on the bottom denture. Now we're going to let that sit for five minutes. Okay, now that the cushion grip has cured for five minutes, I'm going to put it in my mouth to cure for two hours. Press down as hard as you can to get that really good mold of your gum. Bite, bite. Mm. Now this is going to have to sit for two hours. You can't eat or drink 
It has to make that perfect mold of your gum so they fit well. And it's gonna tingle a little bit. It does for me at least. Some people said they don't feel a tingling. It feels kind of similar to like a uh, cinnamon gum to me. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try some corn on the cob later with these two layers of cushion grip. So thanks for joining.